Hello and welcome back to Professional Certifications Channel. Today, we're moving on to ITIL practices in version 4, let's unpack them further. ITIL v4 doesn't just focus on processes, it redefines them as practices, ensuring a holistic approach encompassing both technical and non-technical aspects. Now, let's dive into the three categories of the 34 ITIL practices. 1. General Management Practices 2. Service Management Practices 3. Technical Management Practices 1. General Management Practices Under the General Management Practices in ITIL 4, there are several practices that are key to effective IT service management. These practices, adapted from general business management, are designed to support an organization's overall strategy and to ensure that IT aligns with and effectively supports the business goals. There are 14 practices under general management practices. 1. Risk management, identifying, assessing, and controlling risks to an organization's capital and earnings. 2. Project management, overseeing projects to ensure they deliver the intended value within scope, time, and budget constraints. 3. Workforce and talent management, ensuring the organization has the right people with the right skills in the right place at the right time. 4. Strategy management, formulating and implementing an organization's strategic objectives. 5. Continual improvement, continuously improving all aspects of an organization. 6. Knowledge management, managing and sharing information and knowledge within the organization. 7. Change control, change management, managing change requests in an orderly manner, ensuring minimal disruption to services. 8. Measurement and reporting, collecting, analyzing, and reporting data to measure performance against objectives. 9. Organizational change management, managing the people side of change to transition teams and organizations to a desired future state. 10. Portfolio management, ensuring the organization has the right mix of programs, projects, products, and services. 11. Service financial management, managing the budgeting, accounting, and charging requirements for services. 12. Information security management, protecting the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data and information. 13. Relationship management, establishing and nurturing links between the organization and its stakeholders. 14. Supplier management. Supplier management involves ensuring that an organization's suppliers and their performances are managed appropriately to support the provision of seamless, quality products and services. This includes managing relationships with suppliers, ensuring contracts meet business needs, and that suppliers meet their contractual commitments. Each of these practices contributes to the overall effectiveness and efficiency of IT service management by addressing different aspects of managing the organization and its capabilities. 2. Service Management Practices The service management practices in ITIL 4 focus specifically on the activities and processes required to design, create, deliver, and support IT services. These practices are vital for ensuring that IT services meet the needs and expectations of customers and users. There are 17 service management practices in ITIL 4, each addressing a key aspect of service management. 1. Service Desk acts as the primary point of contact between service providers and users. It is crucial for managing incidents and providing an interface for other service management practices. Two. Incident management ensures that normal service operation is restored as quickly as possible after an incident, minimizing the impact on business operations. 3. Problem management focuses on identifying and managing the causes of incidents over time to prevent future occurrences of incidents. 4. Change enablement change management manages changes in a controlled manner, balancing the need for change with the potential detrimental impact of changes. 5. Release management involves the deployment and release of changes to IT services, ensuring that they are delivered in a controlled manner. 6. Service level management establishes and maintains the quality of IT services, ensuring that services meet agreed-upon levels of service. 7. Service catalog management 
provides a single source of consistent information on all operational services and ensures that it is available to those who are authorized to access it. 8. Service Asset and Configuration Management involves maintaining information about configuration items required to deliver. 9. IT Asset Management focuses on the management of IT assets to support the organization's IT and service strategy. 10. Knowledge Management aims to ensure that valuable information and knowledge are shared effectively and are reused to improve decision-making. 11. Request Fulfillment manages the life cycle of all service requests from users. 12. Service Design ensures that new, modified, or retired services meet the expectations of the business and customers. 13. Service Validation and Testing ensures that new or changed services match their design specification and meet the needs of the business. 14. Availability Management ensures that IT services meet current and future availability needs in a cost-effective, timely manner. 15. Capacity and Performance Management ensures that services and infrastructure are able to deliver the agreed capacity and performance targets in a cost-effective and timely manner. 16. IT Continuity Management manages risks that could seriously impact IT services, ensuring that the IT service provider can always provide minimum agreed service levels. 17. Monitoring and Event Management involves monitoring the status of services and components and recording and managing events that could impact the quality of services. These service management practices are essential for the effective and efficient delivery and support of IT services, ensuring that they align with the business's needs and provide value to both the organization and its customers. 3. Technical Management Practices The technical management practices in ITIL 4 are focused on the actual technological aspects and skills needed to operate and support the IT infrastructure. These practices are crucial for ensuring that the IT services are delivered efficiently and effectively. There are three technical management practices in ITIL 4. 1. Deployment Management This practice is responsible for moving new or changed hardware, software, documentation, processes, or any other component to live environments. It is a key practice for ensuring that changes are implemented smoothly without adversely affecting the existing services. 2. Infrastructure and Platform Management This involves overseeing the infrastructure and platforms that support IT and IT services. This practice includes activities related to the management of infrastructure components such as servers, storage, and networks, as well as platforms like operating systems and databases. The goal is to ensure that these elements are managed in a way that supports the current and future needs of IT services. 3. Software Development and Management This practice focuses on the development and management of software applications and systems. It encompasses the entire life cycle of software, from development to maintenance and support. These technical management practices are essential for providing the technical expertise and capabilities necessary to design, build, transition, operate, and improve technology solutions and services. They play a critical role in the overall IT service management framework, ensuring that technology effectively supports the organization's business objectives. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.